this is my oxygen machine. You can see that black lid in a clear bottle. That's a humidifier for, to put uh, air into the, sorry, not to put air, put uh, a moist air coming out of it so it doesn't dry your nose so much and you don't end up with nosebleeds. So it makes it much more comfortable to breathe the air uh, that's coming out of the machine and having it humidified. So this is what I put up with every day, this noise. But actually after a month and a half, it's, uh, I don't even realize it's on. And I've put distilled water in there, a little bit there. And so distilled water, so once a week, I clean it out, the humidifier on top, that little thing up there, gets cleaned up once a week. And every day I have to check the levels in there to make sure there's enough water for the humidity. And this is my portable oxygen here. This is what I carry in. I carry in a backpack. This is my backpack here. I'll just take the bottle out and show you. It's actually they're called cylinders, not, not bottles. But uh, let's pull this off here. So you can take this off. It makes it easier with the gloves on. Now I'm going to put this, take this bottle out and cast out. Cylinder open the one. So these hold 2,000 C, uh, PSI, 2,000 PSI, and you line up the regulator with these two holes in here, and you screw on real tight there. And you have, a, you have a little wrench. You turn this to turn the cylinder on and off. Let's get one out and I'll show you. You've got a maze of these damn cables, so 50 feet of these cables in the house. They're always getting tucked. It's cotton things. It makes life uh, kind of difficult. Let's take a look at the new here. I'm sure. Since that's how deep it is. So this is what a new cylinder looks like here. It's a brand new cylinder. All ready to go. That's all you do. Put this down. Pull this off. Keep a label on there because your label has is empty, in use, and full. Right now this is full. Stick this regulator on it. I'll show you how this works. Showing, you see it there. 2,000 psi. 2,000 psi. Here's the regulator. You turn it on to where it flow. When I'm driving my car, I put it on 1.5. On exertion, I put it up to to uh, six to eight. Then you really go through auction fast. So at that number four, this this cylinder should last. Uh, one hour and forty-five minutes, but I've never, I've never experienced that. So that's my um, portable oxygen. I'm just going to show you a bit about the complaints I have. Well, not really complaints. Um, the problems I'm having with these tubes around the around the ears. You go around the ears and into the nose, and um, I have right now. I got sixteen single cylinders in, in stock. This one is box is completely empty. And uh let's put this back on there. You have to be careful. This is all flammable, real highly flammable. So you'll be really careful when you store these. It can't be stored in the heat. And uh, so let's uh, proceed to the next part of the video. Lighting's on hundred percent down here. Anyways, these are the hoses. They go above your ears and down under here. And the hoses is track 50 feet of them on the floor. And where these really things are really painful is when I'm sitting in my chair and I get up, I step in the hose, and it goes wham, I pulls the, pulls the ears down. Right now my ears are just raw, it's so sore from these hoses. Just uh they give me some tubes uh 
obviously they call the foam, foam tubes program. It helps a bit, but they don't stay on, so I mean, a gimmick. But I found one thing here, these breathe right strips. You've probably seen these advertised, breathe right. They work 100%. They're awesome. I'm gonna put a link to Amazon down down below. If you have problems with snoring or problems just breathing with sinus problems, if you get these things, you won't have those problems anymore. They work. You see athletes having them, wearing them, and they work 100% perfect. I just couldn't believe the difference he's made. But breathing is a lot easier now with breathing right strips. So that's just me complaining about living on oxygen. If there's people watching this who have been on oxygen for years, Maybe you can give me some give me some tips. But uh month and a half and uh it sucks. Living in auction sucks man. And uh but I need it to be alive so I shouldn't complain. Have a good day guys. Take care. Bye.